God, I mean, my knees hurt from my season, but it wasn't from all that no gig. It was from sucking Michelle Visage's Wow. Yeah, that was a lot. That's how you won, huh? She's shorter than me. Oh. Takes a lot. On your knees, or we were just hovering the whole time? I was on my knees. I was oh. hovering after. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
Selena is just not it for me. It's just always she's doing really good and then her runways are just terrible. I find the lack of taste. I find that there's sure. a lack of taste when it comes to choices. And it's not to say that all of it is bad. Mm -hmm. I just think the execution seems to be lacking. Like the Absolutely. runway never helps her performance. The ideas are good yeah. sometimes, but the execution is just not there. So Miss Lucy LaDuca has been complaining and whining that she has not won a challenge in a hot minute. Oh, God. <laughs> and she has to keep reminding us of the ones that she did win, even if they're not actually main challenges, because she's all about it. What do you think of Miss Lucy LaDuca? She is such a pick me girl. Tell me about that. What is a pick me girl? A pick me girl is someone who's just, pick me, I want to win, I want to win. Please pick me. Yeah. It's okay if you're like going in to the interview and be like, you know, I was really sad, I was really pissed. But to present it to the group and taking time from everyone else, that's just, that's just rude. It seems like a common theme for her to complain every episode. Well, I'm a little yeah. disappointed because I should have been. You can be disappointed in yourself, but we don't want to hear it every god episode. Absolutely. Meanwhile, on the other side of the spectrum, we've got Lux, who thinks she's in second place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you think this is the best way to go about navigating through the competition? I mean, it's a level of self-delusion, you know. That she has spoken. But yeah. you know, she it, it's driving her forward. So yeah. Like, you know, every time she goes on the confessional, she's always like, well, I'm struggling at this, but I'm amazing at everything else and I'm gonna pull through. So I guess that's like a sign of, you know, what would they call it, pulling yourself through? Confidence? Self-therapy. Self-therapy, oh yeah, lying to yourself. Oh, I yeah. do it all the time. Yeah, I do it all the time. <laughs> now, speaking of Lux and Lucy, did you notice that there was a little tension between them in the workroom when they came in because Lux called her out, as we did as well, mm -hmm. about the pregnancy belly? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, and what was crazy is that Lucy was there defending, well, I knew what she looked like. She wasn't that pregnant. The whole thing was Beyonce was pregnant enough for the world to see. It was a pregnancy reveal. It was. And here was Lucy telling her, no, no. She was no, trying no. to gaslight the whole room into thinking she wasn't pregnant. Isn't that crazy? Sometimes just admit defeat and go, you know what? Yeah. I should have added. You know? Exactly. It's so easy. It is. But no. I kind of stand Lux in this moment, though. But while we're on the subject, Plastic, are you familiar with Beyonce? We don't have that in Vietnam. What are you talking about? Just checking. Just checking. Wow, y'all really dig that out, huh? <laughs> y'all really dig that out. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's no. She don't exist. Ooh. She don't exist in Ooh. Vietnam. Mm, all right. Yeah. Cut. <laughs> wow. They See, they Just had to, like that. They told me that question. It was on my cart because you know I did not watch a season. I was busy. And Rue comes in, and since it's a 90 minute episode, we get a mini challenge oh my God. and says she's gonna do a quick moment where everyone will be voguing. Now this is very triggering to Aja, but they <laughs> have to do this where they get into drag rather quickly. Now how do you feel about quick drag? I mean, look at me. But I've been in a dressing room with you. It takes you forever to look like this. I know, you probably, you always do, do uh, makeup faster than me. I do, because I don't blend, bitch. Look at me. We look so much alike. And we do look alike. I know, I was sitting here looking at you going, oh my God, I must be gorgeous. Cause the mirror. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, the mirror of lies. Now, Plasti. <laughs> <laughs> what do you feel about quick drag? I don't mind it that much. You know what's crazy? I don't look much different, whether it's quick drag or slow drag. You still get the same face. Paint by numbers. That's completely it. It's one of those weird things where I think the more time I have, the worse it gets for me. So if I have it a lot of time, it's good because then I can just get it on and get out of it. You know, mm -hmm. get my face on, get the hell out. I always find when I paint faster, I always look prettier. There you go. It's always weird. Yeah, so you took your time today. <laughs> now, who stood out in this mini challenge? You know, I was really surprised about everyone in this challenge because everyone did really good, I thought. It also looked like they were having fun. Absolutely. They did look like they were having fun. Except and Lucy. Oh, tell me about it. I uh, mean, the girl tried, but... yeah. It was no gang at best. Well, she also has been saying, I got moves, I got moves. Those are the moves. I, of course, loved Sasha in this, and Mistress had me cackling, oh, especially that bad. death drop at the end I thought was pretty amazing. Uh -huh. And once again, Miss Anitra took the prize, took the prize. She bulldozed through the girls. How you feeling about Anitra? I love Anitra. Yeah. Anitra has like a special place in my heart. Aww. She's Asian, she's doing it. Yeah. And yeah, she's something exciting that we haven't seen in a long time. She's making you proud. As I said, Miss Anitra takes the prize. Did you think that was the right choice? 
I love Sasha. I can't say, I, I just yeah. can't do it. I just can't do it. But I mean, she dipped like 25 times. She did. Her back must have been hurting. Girl, I was dying looking at it. I'm just thinking knee replacements. Girl. That should be the prize. I hope she has, it. Her, the prize should be insurance. Insurance would be great to fix a bitch after that's over with. So for the maxi challenge, the queens have to perform as duos in the Bubbly Comedy Festival. And the queens get assigned into pairs based on the bubbly can that they pull. Now, does the pair aspect make this challenge more difficult, you think? Or you think it's gonna make it easier? I mean, doing comedy in pairs is gonna be tricky. I don't think I'd want some bitch to f up my chance. It's tricky. No, I'm on the opposite end because I'm, I mean, no, I'm not gonna shine, so I need to like hang on. You need to hang on to somebody. To somebody, or somebody needs to like help me with a script or help me with deliverance, because if I look like this, that's gonna be funny. No, it's true, and you suffer enough. I mean, there's no Beyonce in Vietnam. No, Beyonce. The only joke I got. Now, out of this group, is there anybody that you would have gladly latched on to for the challenge? Um. We're gonna cut I... that for a moment so we can remind her who's on this season. <laughs> we'll be back in a moment. I think Mistress for sure. You would have chosen Mistress. I think she's the funny one. Yeah. Um, I mean, Lucy branded herself as everything. But do you think that's gonna help or harm you when you say, I'm the comedy queen, I'm the comedy queen? Let's see. Let's see. Ooh, that's a way to look at it. Who would you want to work with in the cast? I would have to honestly say, this is tricky for me, I would say Malaysia, because she's gone. Uh, no, I would You just want to be alone. No, listen, I would have gladly taken the solo aspect. That doesn't scare me, but this is just the thing that I do. So I wouldn't be afraid of being by myself. And let's face it, most of my life I've been by myself. Cue the sad music. My family hates me. That was my story. Oh. Always stealing my stuff. Now listen, if this challenge would have been on season 11, okay, let's just say there was a comedy <laughs> challenge on season 11, who would you have chosen from your season to be your comedy duo? Partner? None of them! Uh, Come on, one of them at least. There's gotta be one. Do you have any friends from that season? No. Oh. I think Nina branded herself as a comedy queen. What well, most ugly queens do, yes. Damn. Yes, yes, yes. You would have chosen Nina. I would have chosen Nina. You don't think that by being friendly with Brooklyn that it would have helped? It was between me and Nina or me and Brooklyn. I was just Brooklyn. So the girls are working in pairs, Plastique. And initially, the pairs were as follows. Uh -huh. Lux and Lucy, uh -huh. Anitra and Sasha, uh -huh. Mistress and Marsha, and Selena is solo. But because Selena was the only queen with Cherry Bubbly, she gets the choice of either performing solo or stealing a queen, and she decides to take Mistress, which now makes Marsha have to work alone. <laughs> I love it. I do too. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it when there's tension going on, and now we know that Marsha, 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 you know, Miss Broadway, when she claims to be on Broadway. We have not thoroughly checked through this yet. Do you think that she's gonna do well in this category? No. I mean, category with this challenge. Yeah. No. You don't think so? Mm mm. It's so hard being alone, and you can see how nervous she was yeah. when Mistress was taking her away. Yes. So, dance, singing, cool. I'll give it to you, but comedy is another realm that you do not want to enter. Yeah, I mean, do you think she's stressed? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you can see her sweating, and I love it. Did it bring you joy? Oh, absolutely. It did, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, I would take any opportunity to perform solo. I really would. It's like sex for me. Solo is better. Damn. I would gladly get out there and perform, and you don't have the dead weight of having somebody with you. Face seemed, and pillow. Yeah, she seems a little wrecked by this. I would be very, very lost. She was probably putting a lot of faith in Mistress because she's thinking, Mistress is funny, mm -hmm. and this would work out well. Yeah. And Selena went, no, bitch. <laughs> who from your season, if you had to partner with, okay, if you have no choice, who would you pick for a comedy? Okay, well, routine? I thought a lot of them were really, really funny. Mm -hmm. But I think, and this is the weird thing, is that if I was forced to perform with someone, mm -hmm. I guess I would probably have to make fun of them. So mm -hmm. that means any of them I would have thoroughly enjoyed. Um, but really any of them I would have gladly taken on. Any of them, I'd, you know, Very Magnolia looks... Crawford. Magnolia Crawford. Is she, how is she? Who knows? Another Robbie Turner case. Yep. Gone with the wind. Gone with the Daytona winds. Since Anitra won the mini challenge, she gets to assign the order. Now, do you think Anitra was strategic here? So just to remind you, she did Marsha first, uh -huh. okay? And then she did Lux and Lucy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And following that, she did Sasha and herself. Yep. And then she did Mistress, Mistress and, and Selena, Selena. Estides. Do you think that she was strategic with the placement here? I would have done the same thing. You would have done the same thing? Yeah, because putting Marsha first or in the middle and at the end doesn't fit. Right. Like, she has to be first because she's like solo. She kind of like hosts mm -hmm. or like open the show. And then Mistress and Selena are 
the strong ones, I guess, so they mm. can close out the show. I don't know, I have mixed feelings about this lineup. Mm. I would say that if I was Anitra and I was unsure because she was having that whole headache moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. How convenient. But she was having <laughs> that headache moment that I would have said, let me go a little earlier, you know? Because really? if Marsha's by herself, Marsha is herself, then uh -huh. I would have said, put me second. True. Put me second. Let those other bitches figure this out. True. So let me ask you, would you want to go first, middle, or last? First. First. You would love to go first, get it over with. Yeah. Do what you got to do and get the out. I mean, if I have a partner and I think I might get by, middle. Yeah. You're the type of girl that just wears socks during sex, don't you? Why? Just asking. Socks? Well, it just seems like you would. Like, you don't have time to take it all off. You're like, like mm, and get out of here. Capizio socks? <laughs> I mean, I wear orthopedic socks. I'm just asking, do you just put on socks and then just, like, I'm done? What are you, why, why, why are you asking me that? I didn't read anything online. What are nervous. you talking about? You're nervous. I have no idea. Wait, what? I didn't know socks was going to be triggering. Where did this come from? Where this am I? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Wait. Why is, this, she's nervous now. Oh, I'm scared. I, I don't know. I just. What does that entail? It, I just meant that you would probably just not want to be bothered. You'd want to just get it over with so you would keep your socks on. I'm a is, pillow princess. Is there some sure. secret sock syndrome that you have? I don't know. It's triggering, isn't it? mention socks again. All right, weirdo. Do you wear the sneakers when you're when you're having sex? Why keep people people keep talking about these sneakers? I have no idea what you're talking about. I just had foot surgery, so I'm wearing as what we call an orthopedic drag shoe. I have no clue as to what you're talking about. Your foot has a better storyline. Honestly. Oh. So as the queens are preparing for their challenge, we see that Anitra is struggling with a migraine. Mm -hmm. Now, what's going on there? Why is no one giving her medicine? Well, do you think that it's just the pressure of the game, or is she actually having some serious issue with it? It's the probably life? that 25 dips she did in the, Hello? Mini, in the mini challenge. Shablam! 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 It has its an effect, I'm sure. She's not contributing and she's not helping out, and Sasha's left to fend for herself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what do you think this is going to turn out to be? A shit show. A shit show. I agree. But, I mean, good for her for kind of pulling it together, I yeah. guess, and going through. How would you feel if your partner was like, I, I can't do this? Oh, I'd have been fine. You would be fine. Let's it. roll. Wrote the but, script for them? Well, this is the challenge that would work. Like, I, I, I wouldn't mind helping somebody out saying, okay, this would be a good setup. This will work out. This would be the punchline. So it would not bother me in the least. But if I was Sasha, I'd be myself. Right. You know? Next, we see the girls actually getting to rehearse their material in front of Michelle Visage and Ali Wong. Who I love, Ali Wong. Now, do you think they're shitting themselves? Because I, I would, I would be shitting myself. Oh my gosh, absolutely. She's a funny bitch. I would be shitting balls if I was. You could shit a ball. They have that in Vietnam. They don't have Beyonce, but we got <sighs> balls. She's so. Shitting balls. I've heard about the ping pong balls. Oh. I've heard about that. Have you ever had a ping pong ball? And never mind. Remember that one time at your house? I don't want to talk about it. You can't mention socks. I'm not mentioning the ping pong ball situation. You broke a window. Now, looking at them rehearse their material in front of Ali and Michelle, who do you think has actually got the strongest chance of winning this challenge? I think it's Lucy and Lux, the well, pick-me group. I think what's interesting about the two of them is that I think that they both possess comedic abilities, mm -hmm. you know, and this could either work out really well or it could end up as a dumpster fire. Absolutely. But I think it works in their favor because they kind of had, like, a problem earlier and they're yeah. just insulting each other. True. So I think it works for their act. I agree. And th then we're stuck with Selena and Mistress, which I think is a weird combo because I don't know if the funny is in the fact that they're actually talking about hookup stories. Like, it seemed like a lot of dialogue to get to the punchline. Well, if there was a real punchline. You know, South Pole is not really a big punchline. South Pole is like another sock. I just don't get it. Oh, God. Back to the socks. Now, in the workroom, did you feel a certain way when you were hearing more about Mistress's story? She's touched on it earlier this season, but I think she kind of got a little more detail about the whole drag incident and having a moment, calling a mom, and then having the mother show up and the mother be judgmental. Did you think that it's helping her by seeing that softer side of her? Absolutely. Yeah. I think um, we view Mistress as this really strong character yeah. who nothing faces her. Right. So it's really endearing as a viewer to see her kind of just be vulnerable and telling her story. And I can relate to that story, so seeing her break down and kind of just Humanizes her. Humanizes her. Yeah. And you can relate to the whole family neglectful situation where you're like, oh, here it was. I thought this would be my family be there to help me. Absolutely. And they didn't. What I appreciate about it is that she just shook it off and went, and? Exactly. Get out of here. And that's the last I spoke of. And then what? Moving on with my life. And that's how you're supposed to do it. Exactly, bitch. Move on. Mm -hmm. Move on with socks. Plow through. Okay, let's discuss the queens and the bubbly comedy festival. Who do you think did the best and made you crack a smile? 
it was Lux and Lucy. Pick Me Girls delivered. They delivered and you know, it was a funny set. I thought they worked well off of each other because I was worried in the beginning if one was gonna overpower the other. Mm -hmm. And I have to give Lucy LaDuca credit. If you're watching Lucy, you did a great job and you played really well off of Lux where you weren't trying to overpower her and no. actually complimented each other. Yes. I thought, good job on both. I'm saying she did a good job. And she was stenched. Yeah, she was. And she looks great. Yeah. She looks great. I thought that Mistress and Selena could have done some editing. And I must say, I was extremely uncomfortable during Sasha and Anitra. Aww. I did! I did, and listen, you know I love her. I love her. I but love two Sasha. things that were offensive, the comedy set and that wig. Girl, what was Every time she turned. Head? Oh, girl, the kitchen was a mess. I love you, but the kitchen was a mess. Yeah. She tried. I just thought that, I just they seemed unprepared. But then Sasha kind of just saved herself with that one last joke. I mean, look, listen, you can't go wrong with talking about Michelle's balls. And do you think that Anitra is just sitting back going, you know what, so what if I screw this up? I don't mind lip syncing. Because you know, Anitra is that lip sync bitch. She will send anyone home. I mean, how many times have Anitra lip synced now? Throughout the season? It's been like four times. Has it been? Four times now. So yeah, three in the Lollapalooza, and yeah, yeah, that's wild to think about. So I think she's like, you know what? At least I got the duck walk. Ooh. She better work. There you go. What did you think about Mistress Set? Listen, the idea of them discussing their little sexual antics was funny. I just didn't think the material was that funny. It was like word salad. Uh -huh. A lot of words and not much going on. So I thought it was fine. I, I thought guess. it was much better than what I thought it was gonna be from yeah. the rehearsal. Sure. But it wasn't still. What'd you think of Marsha? I forgot about her. You know what is wild to me? She looks better in her mini challenge than she does on the main stage. That was the quick drag. Doing her comedy set. I was gagged. And her one joke was her makeup getting better. In... I guess that is the joke now, because it's funny. Because it wasn't. I see what you did there. <laughs> I'll be here all night. <laughs> Sadly. And we get to the runway where the theme is rip her to shreds. What do you think of this category? I think it's a, the, a new category. It We've is. Never had this before. So mm -hmm. very exciting to see who's going to bring it. Now, if you had to follow the theme of rip to shreds, what would you wear? Paper. Paper? Uh -huh. As in like newspaper or like brown paper or like white paper? Any kind of paper. I think like, you know, shredded paper. Yeah. And then make like a whole garment out of it. I think that'd be cute. Yeah, you just we'll explained see. nothing. But I followed you. I followed you. Yeah. There's no shredder in Vietnam, Bianca. Oh, f There's nothing in f Vietnam. Not a goddamn thing. No. No Beyonce. No Beyonce. No shredder. No, no socks. socks. What would you have worn? Okay, let, what would I have worn? A boat neck gown a with shredded paper on okay, it. Let's back it up. Once again, I have to explain this. It wasn't a boat neck gown. It's a cowl. Cowl neck gown. Okay, let's talk looks. Our first step on the runway is Miss Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. It is wild to me. Now, Michelle did mention, and I mean, I don't know if you caught it, but this look was actually worn by Lucy LaDuca in an earlier episode. First of all, it's not really that original. Mm -mm. I thought maybe she could have done the shredded dress and not the whole theme here. This is the one time I think the theme is working against her. Mm -hmm. And she's wearing makeup. The bitch got makeup on now. What'd you think of it? It's like... Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm hearing you. I have to agree. Yeah, that's what it is. Miss Lucy LaDuca. Well. Break it down, break it down. I do love the material. Yeah. She spent money on this costume, yes. I assume. I kind of hate the corset outside of the garment, mm -hmm. but for her, I'll give it to her. That's my favorite thing to say. For her. For her. Yes, for her, yeah. I'll give it to her. The makeup is a chop. The wig is a chop. The outfit is is great. Okay, I get that it's shredded. I like the the textures. I think it's good. You know, I don't even mind the wig being kind of the same color, but like you said, the makeup, I think, is not helping. It's not adding anything to the look. If anything, it's making the outfit look cheaper. Absolutely. It's so. not showing versatility. It's not doing anything that she thinks she's doing. Next we have Lux Noir London. Okay, come on now. This bitch, I'm telling you right now, her runways are always fabulous, and here she is with another one, and she ain't a stupid bitch. Nope. If all else fails, dress like, like RuPaul. Ru. 
Truly, Lux is on to something. I mean, her runways always seem to save her. I think she's definitely my top pick for this episode. Absolutely. The yeah. hair is right, face right, everything's yeah. right. Go I like off. it. Next up, your favorite, Miss Sasha Colby. Oh! Come on now. Strappy. Come on now. Denim, diamonds. Brilliant. Ah, oh, really? the hair. I love the look. I love this hair color on her. I love that. The little head wrap. I thought it was fabulous. Mm -hmm. Everything was just so right. And then she just knew to move the garment the way it needs to move. And yeah, it was just perfect. I think she looks fabulous. I think this is probably my absolute favorite look that she's brought on the runway. Okay, next up, we've got Miss Anitra. This is a silhouette we've seen before Don't from talk her. about people that wear the same silhouette. I'm just kidding. This is amazing. Thank I you. love this silhouette. She's serving something new every single time. This walk, out, the, out of this world. Yeah. I just don't like the shoe. The shoe I thought was a bit weird, but I thought the jumpsuit was very her. I think she looks great. Mm -hmm. The shoe is kind of like a ballroom shoe. I thought it should yes. be more of something like a boot. Next up, we have Miss Selena St. Girl, this, okay. th this is like Lucy's costume, but 10 times worse. Once again, it's the taste level. I don't know. I, I have to agree with Allie that if she would have made the whole thing out of the blanket little overcoat, Absolutely. it would have been a better story. I, I don't know. There's just something about it. The necklace. Where is that necklace going? Where did that high, come from? It's not low. It's weird. I mean, Selena, you're making it hard for me. Finally, Miss Mistress Isabel Brooks. Your thoughts, Plasti? I love it. I love it from here up. I don't like the length. Length is an issue for me. I don't know, I think I would have been more impressed with a ball gown. Absolutely. That was tattered to the ground. Absolutely. Would have been gorgeous, but it is well made. I think it's, the, the colors are great. I think the mug, she's always got a mug. The mug is painted. Yeah, I think my issue with it is the length. So from the knee up, you're happy with it. I love, I yeah. love, yeah. I agree. So out of this elite group, who had your favorite look? Sasha Colby. Who had your least favorite look? Um. Selena as titties, I might have to add. It is really bad. I'm gonna give Selena the a pass. I'll give her a pass mm. and take Marsha as probably the worst, only because someone else had done this look before. Yes. There you go. There you go, Selena. I'm not a total bitch. So I would I would say, yeah, I would say I'd have to give Marsha the worst look. After the judges' critiques, we find out that this week's winners are Lucy and Lux, each getting their second win. Do you agree, Plastique? Sure. You hate saying yeah. this. <laughs> you hate saying this to the pick me girls, but I hate it. Come on, they were the best. They were. They the, were the best. The outfits were the best. Yep. The comedy set was the best, yeah. and they delivered. And sadly, in the bottom, we got Anitra <laughs> and Marsha. Now, as soon as I heard that it was going to be those two, I went, "This is going to be a lip sync." She's done. This is going to be a lip sync. She's done. So the question is, do you agree with the bottom two? Do you think Anitra was the worst? I mean, STD I know. should have been in the bottom just for that dress. Really? I'm so sorry. Like, her set did not save her. Marsha and Anitra lip sync to Boss Bitch by Doja Cat. What'd you think of this lip sync? It's good, huh? It's good. I was watching this and I was screaming. You yeah. saw me, I was screaming. Yeah. I think has, this has got to be one of, like, top five lip sync on Drag Race, period, for me. Anitra just you know, lay it all out there. She did lay it all out there. And look, we've seen her lip sync, as we said before, she lip synced a couple times during the Lala Perusa. <sighs> but to see her now, I was like, oh, she is in it to win a it. A performer. In it to win it. She's like, bitch, go home. Mm -hmm. The backwards dip, and then it was just so elaborate. Her tailbone, oh, it's, gone. Yeah. Do you remember when I used to do that? I mean, I'm gonna give you a minute, but do you remember? So we're watching Miss Anitra just mop the floor with this bitch. And then she does the ultimate and she just jumps over that bitch. What did you think of that? No hesitation. <laughs> None. No hesitation. None. Her intrusive thought set, I can do this. And I'm she going. Went for it. Yeah. And I was just, ah! Oh, I was, was like, so yes! good. Yes, 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 yes. Miss Marsha was like, <laughs> she said. <"F> <laughs> my back men. <laughs> so Anitra wins. Do you agree? Absolutely. I agree. There ain't no competition. Yes, None. I definitely thought. And now we're blessed with the top six. Do you think so far this is the right top six? Is there anybody from earlier in the season that you would have brought back? Spice. Do you think Spice would have been able to handle all of this madness at this no. point? No, but you just like I her. I just like her. I just want <laughs> I just want to see what she would do. She you just want so... your TikTok sister there. You know, I ran so they oh no, I walked so they could run. Who do you think's gonna win the crown? 
Sasha Colby. Who do you think <laughs> other than Sasha Colby stands a chance? Sasha Colby, Anitra, Mistress, mm. Lux, Lucy, STTs. Plastique, thank you for joining me today for your Pit Stop debut. Did you have a good time? Thank you so much for having me. I had such a good time. Good, we'll come back anytime you like. And a huge thank you to Bubbly Sparkling Water. Ooh. Cheers! Mm. Mm -hmm. That's tasty. It's good. Mm -hmm. And thank you all for watching. Make sure you tune in next week where we'll be recapping another episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 15. Yeah, there's more episodes. Bye! Oh, yeah, I forgot. I, forgot. I won't mention socks. I will not mention socks if you don't mention my diaper. Oh. It's simple. I just don't mention your shoes. There's cameras on us right now. They're going to fix this in post. None of this will air. Just, just, I got you. You know what? We'll cut the sock part out. Okay. What does that mean, though? We're going to cut the sock part out. You never, you never told me. We're going to cut the sock part. Now. Okay. Um. Okay, great. Okay, got it. Okay. I'm acting like I have an earpiece. Okay, got it. <laughs> I was like, I'm play on the other side. Uh, I'm literally reading it. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, hey, everybody, it's Michelle Visage. Do you want Emmy nominated gay? <laughs> well, then subscribe to RuPaul's Drag Race on YouTube.